All right, what's going on, Yelani? One more. Uh, this one for the configuration shown. What must the value of the specific weight of the unknown fluid pretty much be? Uh, express your answer in pound per feet cubed. So let's get started. First step, knowns. What do we know? So we know we got water. So that off the bat tells you, oh, we're working in inches. Inches, pound per feet cubed. Cool, so we know the specific weight of water. Uh, that is 62.4 pound per feet cubed. So we're looking for, what is it, the specific weight? So gamma F of the fluid, but hold on, let's go one step at a time. Let's go, we're looking, we know, sorry, we're doing our knowns. So we know the pressure at these two points up top, it's atmospheric pressure, it's open. So let's label this point one and this point two. So P1 is equal to P2, and that is 14.7 pound per square inch. Um, doesn't matter if you use gauge or not, or absolute, I mean, at the end of the day, they're gonna cancel now, but I already know that, but in your case, just, Always use 14.7, that's what I'll do. Especially if it's open. So that's absolute right there, so we should be good. Uh, we're looking for gamma F. So what we do know is that before we get start organizing the equation, remember the units. So let's convert that. So gamma of water is equal to 62.4 pounds per feet cubed. Now let's multiply that by, because we want pound per inch cubed, right? Because we're working with inches. So let's go ahead and do that. We got one feet up top, 12 inches at the bottom, right? Feet to feet. Um, it's cubed here, right here. So we gotta cube these. So if you do that, gamma of water is actually equal to 0 0.0361 pound per inch cubed. Now let's highlight this to make sure we don't get confused with the 62.4. So now let's go ahead and start the equation. So we got two, step two, um, let's see, we have, let's start at point one, work our way down, get to point two. So P1, that is equal, no, not equal to, I'm sorry, it's P1. We're going down to this point, so that's positive. We're working with water. That distance is 5.5 .5 minus 1.4. So that is what, 4.1? And again, this is inches. This is pound per inch cubed. Multiply it, you'll get pound per inch squared. That's a pressure unit. So cool. We're at this point now. Now we go from here to here. We're going up, that's the case. Um, so it's gonna be a negative gamma F. That's what we're looking for times the height, so it's 3.3 .3 minus 1.4, that is 1.9. Now from this point to this point, we're dealing with water, we're going up, so that's a negative. Water times the height, 4.9, all of this minus all of this. So 4.9 minus 3.3, .3, that is 1.6. And we set it equal to P2. Now look, P1 is equal to P2. That's why I said it didn't matter if you use gauge or absolute. So P1 cancels out with this one. I mean, P1 cancels out with P2, this one right here. So cool. Now you're just left with these three numbers equal to zero. Let's go ahead. Gamma of water times 4.1 minus gamma F 
times 1.9 minus gamma of w, and I'm just copying it all down. 1.6 is equal to zero. All right, so you can make things easier, right? Factor out a gamma w, 4.1 minus this one. I don't like to do that. I've gotten confused, so ever since, I remember a couple years ago for an exam, that messed me up, so ever since then, stop doing that. Zero, let's just plug in the, the numbers for gamma. 0 0.0361 times 4.1 minus gamma f 1.9 minus 0 0.0361 specific weight of water times 1.6 equals zero do the math um this number minus this number you can move this over here to make things easier but you'll probably end up what well, you should end up getting 0 0.14801 minus 0 0.05776 is equal to gamma f 1.9. I just move that over there again. This, this is this number, this is this one right here. Uh, do the math you end up with gamma f is equal to 0 0.0475 pound per inch cubed. Now it is asking for pound per feet cubed. So sorry, I'm not sure if you could see that, but it was asking for pound per feet cubed. So we just got to convert this right here. It's pretty easy. Now we just work backwards. We know 12 inches, this time it goes up top because inches at the bottom is equal to one foot. Cube both of them because the cube right here. And that should give you gamma F is equal to 82.08 pound per feet cubed. So yeah, this is another problem where they try to trick you with the units. So I've noticed it's usually the, the English units that they try to mess you up with. So just be careful. You see inches, you get values in, well right here I chose it, right? But that's only because I know this off the top of my head. I could always convert it, no problem. But just keep an eye on those units. But other than that, that's pretty much it on this one.